Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to create this um, free nails designs. I hope you enjoy it. It is I'm using this new so easy um, tips extension, sort of like a jewel form, but for the tips, I've never used these before. The idea is I am enrolled to do a course um, on this to see how I should properly fit them on and use them but what I thought is why not try and do a before and after so before the course um, and after it so this is me preparing my free nails I've already filed um, and dust off everything uh, done my cuticle work and uh, prep the nail and I'm going in with primer um, and base. I need to wait for this to fully dry, so a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds. Right, so now I'm coming in with my base, rubber base. I'm putting that in the lamp. Um, I thought it was a good idea to create this video because I have never used this kind of um, tips before. Um, um, it's like it literally are dual forms but for the extension of the nail bed. So uh, yeah, I've never used those, so I thought, why not? Um, I am sure I'm not doing it correctly, um, but I don't have training on it. Um, I'm waiting for that. I bought these with the idea that I'm going to have that course happen, but I still have to wait a little bit till for it to start. So I said, why not see what I am able to do with it before and then after. So this is it. I'm using um, the Milky White to do the extension bit. And as you saw over there, I was uh, sort of pushing my nail down because um, a nail has sort of um, two apexes to say that, two apex. So one is... Um, towards the cuticle, closer to the cuticle, and one is closer to your middle um, end of your nail. So apparently this works perfect uh, when you do a slim design to use the, the one at the end. So this is what I did. I've got a mini UV uh, light that's just hot, um, held on my uh, lamp on my lamp what <laughs> no on my desk and as I'm holding the dual form on my finger I'm moving it all together to, into that uh, in front of that lamp to cure it a little bit before I put my um, my whole hand into my normal LED light right so uh, apparently you have to squeeze in a little bit for it to come out properly and without having to remove anything you know material as you take it out very easy and very simple to do and to be honest i felt like it was a lot faster than doing it with uh, um you know the, the normal forms that you use so yeah Okay, so I'm just showing you in the back. I didn't press a lot on it, so I didn't get any extra um, product under my nail, um, which was a good thing. But at the same time, I spoke to a friend of mine who's a uh, master in nail technology. Um, the design for a slim uh, nail, I was supposed to sort of have it more lifted. So I think I was supposed to press a little bit harder at the um, end, well, at the beginning of the dual form and then sort of pull it up closer to my my um, left hand, sort of. I, I can't explain it. Well, you know what? I'm sure I'm going to do better when I have the course, the, the course done um, because now I've just literally searched it up a little bit. Uh, my friend explained it to me a little bit, so this is what I come up with <laughs> I am very pleased with it it's very nice um, and it was quite fast right so then I'm literally just removing Takileo um, and filing the um, you know that extra edge um, that I've created when I was pushing down the um, the dual form uh, you don't have to file it down completely just give it shape and um, because it is kind of like a slim nail design 
um, with um, the apex a bit lower so the second apex to call it like that um, so we need to have a bit of strength on that side because that's the second apex when you know you don't have strength in that it just you can just pop off and you don't want that right so I showed you on one finger as I used the manual file and then on the other two fingers I'm using the um, electric file where to be honest I found it a lot easier with the electric file but if you don't have an electric file you can easily use the um, hand file it's perfectly fine it takes a little bit longer but it's not a problem the reason it takes longer is because you don't actually want to refile all your um, base gel that you've put in there but you know if you want to do that and plus you remove the tacky layer so maybe a little bit of the shine from the base is good to take off now I'm just covering the area where it's uh, missing um, gel um, and um, well you know the milky white is kind of like um, in between jelly and um, a different consistency so it's not going to be a very very smooth transition transition is going to have some sort of bulky areas and some less bulky but that, that was fine with me because I was going to file it off anyway I wanted a um, one stroke um, builder gel application so um, I didn't want to add bulk and then refile again so what I did is I just uh, made sure that I didn't have any sort of um, difference in color you know the milky white and then pink and all I wanted to sort of build it up properly and file it to shape and then going in with uh, my piggy pink and uh, doing a one move application so i didn't want to file after if you if you file properly on over here like i'm doing now and everything's perfect when you come up with your uh, top layer of builder gel then it should go smoothly um it did for me and if this video helps you um give it a like um subscribe to my channel consider subscribing if you haven't already and uh, check out my other videos okay so I'm just uh, removing the dust and this is the result so far so it doesn't look bad at all but I was testing the nails and it, it didn't have as much strength <sighs> excuse me it didn't have as much strength as I wanted it to I was just checking it out I was thinking of putting the pink on top anyway but I wanted to see exactly how it is as I've never done this before so I'm coming in with my slip layer, a very thin layer of uh, of this uh, gel, the Piggy Pilda Pink. It's pinky, it's very pinky and pretty, it's very nice, I like it, I love it. Um, yeah, so I'm coming with a slip solution, slip solution? No, slip layer. And uh, then coming in with a little bit more, but because we've created the second apex, which is lower in, in your lower um, part of your nail, I didn't need to create the top apex um, because it did have the the strength and it did have um, you know what what I needed to have so it wouldn't it wouldn't break and it wouldn't um, hurt my nail in any way so what I wanted to do was make it have a smooth um, finish and this is just me playing a bit um, moving the gel in its place turning the nail a little bit and then that's it now it's done i don't need to file that i'm happy with that it's all good the strength is there just showing you on the inside as well i am turning my hand around a little bit to have it move a little bit and then i'm showing you again on my middle finger adding a slip solution slip what is wrong with me uh, it's a slip layer <laughs> it's still early in the morning guys for me so editing this video early in the morning with my coffee uh well you know <laughs> i haven't proper woken up yet 
so that's my slip layer and then coming in as you can see i'm not coming in with a lot as i said i don't need to build another apex i've created the apex when i've done the nail extension using the dual forms so i just need to cover it up all nice make it smooth and pretty and pink and it is done okay so as you can see it's very easy it's not hard to do and it saves you up on filing and filing and filing so uh, can i give you a tip no matter the gel you have um well you know normal builder gel when you want to do this sort of um one move um a layer without having without wanting to refile everything into shape the gel's consistency should be more running than usual so you, it's easier to have a runny consistency because then you know honestly that it's going to move where you take it and you don't need a lot on your um a lot of product to to maneuver it or to give it shape you just need a tiny blob and it should be done so i'm, I'm showing you the results now without filing without anything um and this is it and it has the strength i've checked it i've tried it i've pushed it look at that i'm pushing it down i'm pushing it up it, it doesn't it has a lot of strength you don't feel any strain or um you know i don't know you don't feel anything under that nail or on that nail it does not affect your natural nail so no matter how um thin your nail is as long as you've got the apex sorted you won't have any problems you can go with these nails for two three four five six weeks depending on how well you uh, prepare everything and uh, now i mixed a little bit of black with one of my um sort of see-through shimmer um color and taking in my um designer brush and just um, sort of putting it you know all in the right order um the right place i want it to go and don't want it bulky on one end and slim and thin on the other so yeah this is it i forgot to record from the start i, I did press the, the record button but only once apparently i was uh, i know i need to do it twice but you know me i tend to forget yeah so this is it um i was missing a bit of that glitter um on that um on the ring finger so i've just added some over there and spread it on my black i'm curing that in the led light for one minute and then i'm coming in with a gold a very pretty gold with patterns on it um foil and uh, i'm just sort of using the foil here and there not on all the the design I, I want just little bits of it from here to there um and as you can see the pattern i created was sort of like moving from one nail to another kind of like they, they are uh, one design um i know i haven't done this before so the design may not be very pretty but to me you know it's an achievement and i'm pleased with it and it looks so pretty on my nails i love it right and this is the final look um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i i will come back with more and um if you like it consider subscribing and i will see you next time i am using my um cuticle oil here and i've got a uh, a tip for you that i learned is uh, for the pictures so if you have a client that you're doing her nails um do the cuticle work do this end bit so well but don't add the oil, cuticle oil everywhere just push it properly inside the cuticle where you've actually um cut the nail and you know use the knee file to remove the dead skin and then come in with a dry um tissue or and remove try and remove as much as uh, as much of that cuticle oil as possible even coming in with a bit of uh, clean cleaning cleansing solution or something to clean it off almost completely and leave it as that 
and you know what the result in your pictures will be absolutely amazing okay this is it have yourself a very good day bye guys